All right, hello everybody. This is Zaxter99. We're back with part two of our playthrough of Streets of Chaos, a new strategy game on Steam that just launched earlier today. Uh, it's been uh, kind of a busy day for me, so I'm kind of playing late tonight. Uh, I want to get this out up on my YouTube channel, though. I am limited to 15-minute uh, sessions here uh, right now on my YouTube channel. Hopefully this will get fixed soon. But also want to go ahead and say the first part is, you know, basically just me talking about how you play the game and how it works. I started playing uh, a game on my first part, but uh, then I was trying to do a review on Steam for this game, but Steam was requiring me to install it again or something like that, so I tried to install it again, and when I did that, it deleted my saved data for my first game. So anyway, we're starting the game over. Not a big loss, though, because we hadn't even really started the game. Uh, at the end of video one. If you're looking for information on how the game works and how to play through, uh, then go back and visit part one, but I'm just going to go ahead and start playing the game at this point. Zaxter 99! Again, I set this game to a 30 uh, influence uh, victory, uh, one of the easiest and shortest game modes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start here. We don't have anybody. We're on turn one. One thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and turn the sound down. I did notice when I was editing part one that the sound was really annoying whenever I moved the cursor all around. Uh, I was hearing the clicks. Yes, that's fixed it, so that's good. All right, so we got Morris Leonard here. Two attack, one defense. Uh, hacking ability is 13. Kind of spendy to buy him. And his stealth, I really don't like him that much because his stealth sucks. His stealth is at a 3. I'm not going to buy anything. Don't have anything else to do, though. I'm going to go ahead and end this turn, and hopefully nothing bad happens. All right, nothing happened. We didn't see anything happen, so that's good. We got another guy we can buy, and again, the game offers you one of these uh, new punks that you can hire as your gang uh, every turn. And this guy, again, chaos is good, but his stealth sucks again and kind of spendy at that. Six and two, not bad, but nope, I'm going to pass on him too. I'm being kind of picky this game. All right, ended my turn. Now I have Zachary Wood. Hey, that's my name. I get, he's got to be good, right? Actually, he is really good because his stealth is super high. He's probably not going to get caught or he has a low chance of getting caught every turn. That's cool. His hacking ability is a 10. I'm going to buy him, and the cost isn't too high either. A lot of money, but not a lot of these other resources. So I'm going to go ahead and buy him and get him uh, hacking. So we're going to go ahead. Anytime you buy one of these guys, you need to come over to your uh, management. And they're just going to be laying low, basically doing nothing. Now when they lay low, they don't have a high chance of uh, you know, getting caught or, or arrested or anything like that. But they're not doing anything for you. And why spend the money on them if you're just going to let them sit there and do nothing? So we're going to go ahead and get him doing what he does best, and that's hacking. That's his highest skill, pretty much, except for his stealth. Weapons just tells you how, you know, his ability to use weapons. For him, having him hack, though, I don't really need any weapons on him. So we're going to go ahead and just choose hacking. That's what he's doing now, and we're done. And nothing else to do. We're just going to go ahead and end the turn and see if he was successful at hacking on this day. This is Zachary Ward. I hacked into a credit card database and collected 48 bucks. Hey, cool. All right. So, I mean, you know, he does this four or five times. He's already paid for himself, pretty much. Now we get another guy coming up here. Uh, Chaos is 19, but look at his stealth. His stealth sucks. God. You guys, why are you guys, why are you guys all so damn lousy at not getting caught at whatever it is you're doing? Screw you. I'm done in this turn. Zachary Ward, he collected 126 bucks and four corruption. Awesome. Good job there, Zachary. All right, so another new turn. 257, Chaos is 17. His stealth sucks, though. Two out of two. Well, I'm going to pass on him, too. I do need to get some guys to protect my headquarters, though, in case I get invaded. You could be invaded by another gang. Uh, and if you don't have anybody to guard it, you, take a, you can take a big hit, I think, to your headquarter number here. We're going to go ahead and take that chance, though, because I'm not liking a lot of these guys that they're giving me, mainly because the stealth sucks so bad. Going to end the turn. Oh, no. Zachary Ward has been arrested by the police. So much for your stealth of 18, buddy. And will be held in the uh, city lockup until trial tomorrow. This is what happens when your guys get arrested. 
and hopefully he gets one of the better judges. Let's take a look at the judges and see who they are in this in this game. Uh, hopefully he gets. I'm pretty sure this is the most lenient judge there based on the higher number. So hopefully he gets Lloyd Page. Uh, Walter or Ricky may not be that nice to him, so we'll see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. Uh, he didn't get Lloyd Page. He got Ricky Howell presided over, and he's found guilty as charged. The defendant must pay $253 fine to be released. Okay, I think that gets paid automatically. Yep, so see there. Expense is $258. Only got $280 left. And I got a one out of one guy with crappy stats. Uh for a lot of money and a lot of resources. Screw him. Alright, let's go ahead and get this guy back at hacking. Because he's gonna anytime they get arrested they're gonna come back and start laying low. So there we go. And we're gonna screw that guy and end our turn. Good job, Zachary. You earn 147 more bucks, one blood and two corruption. Nice job. Alright. This guy's got a high stealth. I like him. Weapons and chaos is good, so he can earn us some money. So we're going to go ahead and grab this guy. And we're going to get him going on what he does best, and that's chaos. So, And with chaos, what they're doing is kind of wandering around the streets and stealing stuff out of cars and grocery stores or whatever. You'll see random stuff every time. So, got two guys earning us some money now. Just hopefully neither one of them dies or gets busted. Because we need money bad. All right. So now we have both these guys doing. Zachary Ward is uh, hacking. Got to meet twelve bucks from a race car. I mean, a horse racing track. That's funny. And Alvin staked out a mark to grab some stuff. Collected seventy-two bucks. Good job, guys. All right. Can't even afford this guy. Chaos sixteen. Stealth is one. This guy is pathetic anyway. On stealth, he'd be getting busted all the time. Screw him. I'm just gonna keep these two guys doing what they're doing and move on. All right, we got 30 bucks from Zachary and a cyber tech, and this, uh, he smashed in a window on a house and collected 120 bucks. Cool. All right, uh -oh. now this is what happens when you don't have anybody invading. You can be invaded by other gangs. Uh, attackers overwhelm your guards, because I have none, killing them, and do 11 damage to your headquarters. So how did I... Oh, defensive stance plus two total defense. I don't know how I got that. I don't think they killed anybody because I didn't have anybody set to defend my headquarters. But they did 11 damage to my headquarters because I had nobody uh, set. So what happens is when you have a gang attack you, what it does is it simply adds up all their attacks. Okay, it gives you 13. And then it adds up all their defenses, gives you 11. And however many guys you have here guarding your headquarters, whether it be 1 to 3, uh, it's going to add up all their things. Sometimes it gives one side or the other a bonus or a negative or whatever, just randomly. But anyway, what's going to happen is it's going to come up with an attack and a defense for your guys. And your attack is going to go in against their defense. So let's say I had 15 total attack. Well, I would have killed all three of theirs if it's higher than that 11 or if it's at least 11. And then their attack goes against your total defense. And if their attack is bigger than your total defense, you lose however many guys you have guarding you. They all die. So, you know, it kind of sucks to lose that much money that you paid for those three guys because you have to replace them, but at least you don't take that headquarter hit point, you know, hit that you take here. This is a hefty hit, uh, down to 29 points left on my headquarters. That sucks. All right, so we got this guy, two out of six. That's pretty decent, but again, his stealth is two. This guy's going to be getting busted all the time. I mean, even if I said this guy is guarding my headquarters, I think with the stealth of two, he's going to still be getting busted all the time. So F him. Screw that. We're going to continue to do what we're doing. Zachary Ward, I tried to hack a government office. Collected 39 bucks. This guy collected 30 bucks. Not a lot of money, but I guess every dollar helps. And nothing else happened. That's good. Steve Owens. Domination is 15, but his stealth sucks again. Uh, hacking, 4 out of 6. I'm going to go ahead and buy him just to kind of protect the headquarters a little bit, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and set him to... I can increase his... But I don't have any money left. I mean, I only have 98 bucks. But you can buy equipment, and this is kind of how this works. You can take any guy you want and increase their attack or defense. 
The only time I've ever see, really seen it come into play, though, their attack and their defense is when you have them guarding your headquarters, like I'm going to have this guy do, because then he gets a higher attack and a higher defense depending on the weapons and the armor that you buy. He can buy one piece of one weapon and one armor, and you can do that for every guy that you buy. But I don't really have any money left, so that's really not an option. I'm still going to have him do the headquarter lookout, though. And now we're still working, and we're going to go ahead and end our turn. Zachary Ward got 68 bucks, Alvin got 90 bucks, and this is kind of how this game works. We just continue to do this, and uh, again, Saki Stealth. I'm just getting really bad bunch of bombs coming here, one job, and no way. Continue to end my turn and work. 21 and 57, not a lot, but I'll take it. Again, crappy ass stats. Screw you, buddy. End my turn. More money, that's good. Nobody got busted. I'm getting lucky as far as nobody getting busted or anything. Alright. Now, this guy's finally got a decent stealth. And weapons, 18. Hacking, 10. Nice attack. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this dude. And what should I have him doing? Hacking? I might have him hacking. He has a nice nine attack. I think, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and have him hacking for now. Try to give me some more money. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and end our turn here. 2775, and the new guy hacked the department source database, but had to log out. Okay, so he made nothing. Don't have much money left. This guy sucks anyway. End my turn. There we go. Zachary didn't do anything. Uh, this guy got 114. He got 56 and 2 cyber attack, so there we go. Uh oh. This guy's going to die again. The guy I bought just to protect my base. 16 total damage against my 6th defense. Kills me. And uh, the cool thing is these guys all only had 1 out of 1 out of 1. So his 1 attack killed all 3 of these bastards. I don't know what good that does me, but both sides kill each other in a bloody battle. But your headquarters is spared any damage. So see, if I hadn't uh, had this one guy here, I think I would have taken like... 16 hit points to my headquarters, so good thing I actually bought him. Uh, there we go. Alright, so continue a couple more turns here. Uh, domination is 17. I like his stealth. Hell yeah, I want this guy. I barely have enough for him, too. 330 and I have 342. Uh, he's going to be trying to get me some streets. I need to start trying to dominate some of these streets so that I actually get these influence points and start, you know, looking at winning the game, because I need 30 influence points, and the only way I can get those is by taking over these streets. So we're going to recruit this guy, and we're going to get him. Now, if you're looking to have a guy try to take over the streets to try to get this influence, you don't come here. You simply click on the street you want to start taking over, and you've got to have him there long enough to beat down their resistance of the street. And depending on how what their dominant skill is, and of course the rolling dice random factor, uh, you know, will determine if... Uh, how many resistance points they beat down every turn. So we're going to go ahead and have him try to, we'll just go ahead and start easy and have him try to get this basil and at least get two influence points. This guy is right here. So attempt to take over the street. I've never like tried to look for my arch enemy my, who is named Lionel Lamb in this game. We're going to go ahead and have this guy attempt to take over the street. Assigned. And we're going to go ahead and end the turn and see what happens. All right, these guys all got me some money, about 200 bucks total for the three guys working there, doing their crimes. And this guy knocked down the resistance of that street by one, got four left. All right, so he doesn't get those influence points until he completely takes it over, and you never know, he could get busted. He, all kinds of things could happen before he does that. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, it's almost at 15 minutes. We need to wrap this uh, video session up. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. Be sure you leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully these videos are helping you decide if you want to make the big $3 purchase on Steam for this game. If that's how much it is. If it's not on sale, it would be less. I think this game's worth it. You know, it's it's kind of fun. Uh, so don't let the no graphics or no movement or anything like that turn you off if you like these strategy kind of games. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure you comment. Be sure you rate. And be sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, be sure you rate my videos and comment below. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zaxter99.